So here's some more about the jawbone that I was telling you about. Here it is, exactly what it looks like. Okay, it's a very standard, you know, standard fit Bluetooth headset. Okay. Uh, on the underside of it is a button, and that turns it on and off. Okay. The back has a button, an actual button, and that's an answer and end button. Also, when you're not in a call and you press this button, it'll tell you how much battery power you have left. This whole surface is touch sensitive, so by double tapping this, you can answer or end a call as well. Now, something exclusive to iPhone owners, okay, what you see is an extra battery bar on the top, right next to Bluetooth. So you got my orientation lock, my Bluetooth, and the far side is my battery indicator and the actual percentage meter, and then something else there. That is the Bluetooth battery meter. If I turn this off, it should go away. See? Bluetooth is still on, but it's grayed out. You can't really see it on the camera. But as soon as I turn it back on, this will flash underneath. I mean, it's pairing, and all of a sudden, bingo, it comes back. Very cool feature given to us for iPhone owners. Allows us to see how much battery power is left on the jawbone. Hey, we're going to flip over to a screenshot right now, a little bit of a screencast, so you can see what the interface looks like when you're plugged in, uh, customizing it, configuring on the web. So this is the web interface. You can see here, this is mytalk.jawbone.com. This is what you first come to. And let's go ahead and log in. This is how you can customize your jawbone. Now, the first thing that you see is no devices connected. Very cool. The web interface will know. I'm going to plug this in using the micro USB port in the back of the jawbone. And it's going to realize that the jawbone is plugged in. And this configuration will change. Here we go. It's sensing it, detecting the presence of it. And any moment, it's going to come up. And then from here, we'll have the ability to install apps and configure our jawbone, push down firmware updates, any number of things that are required uh, or available to us. All right, so see, right up here, you can see that I have a jawbone error. Very cool. Audio apps. Okay? These are the people that can announce to you how much battery life you have left, uh, who's calling, whatever you have. So I chose the sexy bombshell. She now tells me in a wonderful voice how many hours my jawbone has left. Okay? Up here, you can see audio app, be sexy. That's what's there. There's lots of different apps they have here. I have voice dial installed. So your phone, which the iPhone, for example, does have voice dialing, you can use this. Or you can install different things. There's a thoughts app. Um, my favorites, you can quickly access frequently dialed numbers with here. A couple different assistants, so you can go on the go, um, see what, if you have a voice on the go account, you can listen to emails and send messages, call your contacts. If you have a dial to do, you can also use your voice to text and email access to 411, a couple different directory assistants here. From there, there's lots of things you can do. You can put in caller ID settings. All right, so add to your phone book. You can do this, and he's calling from 800-555-1212. You now add this, click add. Now John Smith is added here. If I click update, it will now send this contact down to the jawbone. In which case, when John Smith calls from this number, rather than giving just the number as detected by caller ID, it'll actually tell me the name of the person calling. I think it would be a lot cooler if you could use your existing phone book on your phone. That may be a possibility that I just simply haven't found yet. Um, a couple other things here. Battery meter for the BlackBerry. It's uh, native to the iPhone. The BlackBerry has a spot where you can add it and see what the Jawbone's life is like. Unfortunately, Android does not have that. The Thoughts app. You can send little voice audio messages to your friends and groups. Has to be iOS though. Looking under the extras. Look at this. These are the apps you can now send. Okay, AOL radio. You can use your jawbone to listen to streaming AOL radio now. Or Pandora. Or ESPN. Or Winamp Shoutcast. Um, so I'm not really sure how the YouTube one works. I guess jawbone connects to YouTube and then we'll play videos on the device that you're connected to. Okay? Lots of things, iHeartRadio, very popular BlackBerry app, now it's on all platforms. Okay? You can see there's lots of different things. Dragon Dictation, it's voice to text. Discovery Channel has an app. Okay? What we're seeing now is apps are not only on smartphones and smart devices, but things like this as well. This is going to be a whole new uh, era for Bluetooth. Funny that it's called the era, because it is a new era. Uh, very cool stuff. Um, 
the clarity is amazing. It's perfect. I love how this web interface is. Okay. Um, you can really go ahead and look uh, at different things. Check it out. Get involved in it and see what's going on, what things you like about it. Um, this software here, for example, this is the updated version. Every time a new update of the firmware comes out, you can do things and, and update it and get those extra features, just like you do with a smartphone. Um, this is A2DP enabled. It's a AADP, Advanced Audio Data Profile. That's what allows you to not only listen to music, but listen to it in stereo. Oddly enough, one speaker, you still get a stereo effect with this. Very well done. Jawbone scored with this. Uh, I think it's huge. So I'm going to go ahead and log out here and uh, use my jawbone and make a phone call. You guys should go uh, pick one up immediately if you're in the market for a Bluetooth. They've really scored with this. Keep in mind that the Icon and the Era are the two that have my talk. The Prime does not. Some of the other models that they have may not. Uh, these are the two big ones, okay? The Era and the Icon. Their new Jambox speaker allows you to use my talk as well. Very cool. Check it out. Enjoy it. Get into it. Let me know what you think about this. If you find other cool things to do with it, absolutely let me know. I'd be interested to hear it. Talk to you soon.